Flight Days of Future Past, In Search of the Lost Chord, the list goes on and on. The Moody Blues have sold more than 40 million recordings. Now their popularity is as solid as ever with their new album, The Other Side of Life, making its way up the charts. And already one cut called Your Wildest Dreams is in the top 20. Day two of the Moody Blues, Ray Thomas and Patrick Morris. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Good morning. Let me take you back to 1964. Now, Patrick, this is before you were in the group. Oh, yes, I'm the newcomer. Now. You're the young one, <laughs> yes. Well, now, Ray, back 64, the, the single Go Now went to number one. That's right, yeah. So here you were with a brand new group. How'd you get the name for this group? We were playing a lot of blues uh, at the time in Birmingham, in England, and um, we thought it would be a good idea, actually, to try and get the local brewery to sponsor the band, and they were called Mitchells and Butler's Beer, you see, and the MB blues up beer. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then they refused to do that, and so uh, we just fooled around with the M until we came up with uh, Moody. Moody Blues, okay. Yeah. Now, let's go to 67. Days of Future Past was your first big album, right? Right, yeah. It was, uh, it was supposed to be a demonstration disc for uh, DRAM Records. Uh, they wanted uh, the London Festival Orchestra to play uh, Dvorak's New World Symphony, and ourselves to play, uh, I don't know, uh, Rock Around the Clock and Bee Bop and... They were sort of whimsically combining classical and rock? No, at the time they didn't, uh, they didn't understand what we were about. They wouldn't give us studio time to make the record. So we had a word with Peter Knight and, uh, and said, well, we'd prefer to... We'd already written Nights of White Satin and a couple of other songs. And we, uh, he stuck his neck out for us and uh, we came up with Days of Future Past. That's terrific. Now let's go to where you fit in, Patrick. <laughs> were you with the group before the comeback in 1981? Uh, yes, yes. I've, I've joined uh, the Moody's in uh, 78 mm -hmm. and uh, I was approached uh, by the Moody's entourage when I was on my way back to Brazil. And as I had to do some concerts in Europe, I, I thought, well, it's a good idea to go and meet them. And uh, it started just like a tour and then uh, it carried on and carried on and uh, I'm still there and we've done three albums and I think this one, uh, The Other Side of Life, it really is really the epitome of uh, eight years of working very hard together as a group mm -hmm. and as a team, you know, and... Uh, and of course before that you were with Yes. That's so right, You yes. were no stranger to rock no, and roll. No, no, no. Right. <laughs> And so the comeback in 1981, I guess it was, with Long Distance Voyager, really, I mean, where had you been, if you don't mind my asking, between the uh, early 70s and 81? Um, we did a lot of uh, solo uh, albums. We just got sick of working together, to did be honest. Really? Yeah, yeah, we were in each other's pockets for, for 15 years, and every experience I had, the rest of the guys had, we had nothing left us to, to talk about. And so mm -hmm. we had a break for four years, and then came back with Seven Sojourn, and, and yeah, that was 77. Oh, you really uh, could date your comeback from there? Yeah. I was thinking Long Distance Voyager went to number one, and The Voice was the top single out of that, right? Right. Yeah. But uh, now we, was, uh, we play all over the world. So it, uh, How have audiences changed <laughs> during all this world. time? Well, yeah, it is a big world. Now, I mean, really, you, you've endured across international lines yeah. for so many years. How have the audiences changed and how have you adapted? Well, I mean, now the, the, I think the parents are bringing their kids. And uh, you know, obviously we have at least two generations of, mm -hmm. uh, of audiences, you know. And it's, it's wonderful because we've... I think the Moody's have bridged the gap between retaining their uh, personal identity from the past, from the 60s, mm -hmm. and going across the 70s and the 80s with the, the new technology as well, without losing their own identity. And that's very important because what uh, the Moody's are bringing to the, to the audience is, is a lot of emotion. You know, it's a, it's, it's a very emotional event to go to, the, to a Moody Blues concert aren't and to the, listen to the, to the music. Aren't you the first ones to, to be orchestral? I mean, that has a, uh, yeah, that I, invests I so. a lot of emotion right there. Yeah, I think uh, the Beatles approached it with, with Sgt. Pepper, but that was more like a show. I think it was the first, we were the first band to actually uh, try to do a marriage between rock music and, mm -hmm. and the classics. That's right, yes. Tonight, yeah. when you're performing, will you be doing a lot of oldies, Patrick? Uh, well, I mean, we, we're doing uh, 
you know. I think. <laughs> no, I mean, la la we encompass the whole material. Lots of the whole. Uh, other song live? Yeah, there'll be at least four of the uh -huh. new album, okay. and uh, the rest is, you know, I mean, to choose material, because the material is so consistent anyway, through our 11 albums, mm -hmm. uh, we have, like, we have a certain time to play as well. I mean, we don't want to play for more than two hours, and uh, oh. to choose... It's very difficult to make a choice out of 11 albums because there's so much material mm -hmm. and I think the, peop the, the, the audience uh, will be extremely interested to see the new material fitting in the old and so on. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yes, yeah, well, I was going to say, now this, <laughs> this may not be a fair question, but I've read somewhere that you all consider yourselves veteran cosmic rockers. Uh, <laughs> Does well that I, make you laugh? Or? No, I picked that up. Uh, I wrote a song called The Veteran Cosmic Rocker, but I picked that up off of an American journalist who uh, said the veteran cosmic rockers came to town. It just, <laughs> it just turned me on, so I, I just you know, changed I it. I see, yeah. Made money out of it. Well, well yes. <laughs> but, you know, someone said to me, my goodness, uh, in 67, when Days of Future Past came out, I was this age, so they must be that age. I mean, you... you well, we started when we were six. Oh, oh well, that explains it. <laughs> Let's take a look at a clip in the video from uh, the single Your Wildest Dreams, which yes. which seems to me to be about a, a song about looking back. So you don't mind looking back to your roots, I guess. Well, it's looking back and uh, looking into the future as well. I mean, it's, uh, it's nostalgia with the future as well. And uh, I think one should never really forget the past if one wants to go and uh, go it's ahead a as well. Book, you know? isn't it? Yes. Sure. It's like Carry it with a, you into the future. Right. Sure. Ray Thomas and Patrick Moraz with Moody Blues. Uh, the other side of life is going to be your next single and video, right? That's, That's right. right. The yes. title cut off the album. Yeah, but it's not for now. I think it's going to be probably in August or at the end of July. You know, it's oh, not we'll for now. We'll wait for that one. Oh yeah, I mean this one has just been released and uh, it, it still has a lot of life into it. And yeah. uh, you know, we're, we're only going to start touring. I must say that tonight is our first world tour night here, you know. Gracious. Then you haven't toured in something like three years, I guess, has it? Isn't That's it right. Long? Two well, years? Yeah, yeah, two yeah. years, yeah. So many groups have lost a member over the last two decades. You know, we've lost John Lennon and Brian Jones and a couple of Led Zeppelin, and you guys are still together, a nice quintet, happy and healthy and making music. It's great. <laughs> Well, let's see, let's see what we look like after the tour. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check them after the tour. The concert tonight is sold out at Chastain Park, but you can enjoy the sound of the Moody Blues in their new recording, The Other Side of Life. It is climbing the Billboard chart right now. It's in the top ten. And, of course, the first single is Your Wildest Dreams, and the next one will be Other Side of Life. Thank you both very much. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you for inviting us. It's very nice of you to be here, especially with a sold-out concert. <laughs> they didn't have to do this. Well, we hope the weather holds up for tonight.